Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. I'm Captain Nips, and today in the Battletech Backer Beta, we go back to a topic that is near and dear to my heart. I present for you, dear watcher, the next episode of Punch Club. In today's Punch Club, at the suggestion of a friend from the Penny Arcade forums, uh, C317, hey C, we're going to do something a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a little posse here. And for the most part, most of these guys, most of these guys are just going to, they're, they're here for moral support. Because, let's be honest, for the contender about to run into the ring, probably doesn't need much help. My friends, I'd like to present, not that, that, our friend the Atlas. Now, this isn't just any Atlas. This is the revised Punch Club Atlas. So what does that mean? Well, so if you go back a ways, I did a video with an atlas where I tweaked it a little bit, gave it a little better engine, and reworked its weapons. Well, so we're taking that to the logical extreme and making it the most punchy of the battle mechs. So again, this atlas has a 400 engine, which is as fast as it lets it go. You can ignore all this stuff over here because we're going to get right down into the business here where you will see 11 small lasers and three jump jets. So this mech, in tabletop terms, has a movement profile of 463, which is pretty fast for an assault. It has 11 small lasers on top of the punch that it will be able to throw. So if I was looking at the numbers right, when I was setting this up, it can do somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 plus damage on a successful attack with everything connecting. Some mechs don't even have 300 health. I have a pretty good feeling that this Atlas is going to go a long way. So, at C317's recommendation, our big man here, the Atlas, is going to go toe to toe by himself against the enemy lance. Now these locusts, they're just, like I said, here for moral support. The rules are, that I'm gonna set for myself, they're allowed to move with the Atlas, because the Atlas doesn't roll alone, he brings his posse with him. But they're not allowed to fire, and they're not otherwise, not otherwise allowed to engage with enemy targets. They can be targets, because I get the feeling that when this Atlas moves up in the uh, weight class ranks and starts to p fight uh, fight entire lances of assaults, he might need just the extra bit of not getting shot help. Probably won't need it quite as much in this early go, but that's for us to find out. Now as for a pilot, we really want a pilot that has both good gunnery and good piloting because we want all of our attacks to land. We want the punch to land from the piloting skill. We want the gunnery skill to be firing the small lasers. So we need to take a quick survey of who we've got here. And for, just for my own setup here, I am going to quickly turn these guys into non-official pilots, non-stock pilots, I should say. All right, so let's see, uh, we got Wildfire, the piloting of three kind of hurts my chances there. Sumo's got an 8-6. Sumo probably ends up being our guy. Kraken at an 8-3. Apex at an 8-3. Uh, Witness at a 6-3. Paradise at a 6-8. He'd also be he also would not be a bad choice. I think we prefer to take Sumo in this case because we've got more small lasers than punches. Although it's really important that those punches hit. Hmm. Sumo's precision strike is completely wasted on this mech. There is no there is absolutely no scenario in which we aren't 
going to be shooting every single gun when we have the chance. Paradise's evasion is a little bit... It's. I feel like in this specific setup, it might be a bit of a trap because evasion is great, evasion is dumb, but you don't get evasion when you move for physical attack. So it's not like I'm going to be getting evasion at all times. I'll just get it most of the time when I'm not punching. So what do you do? Paradise or sumo? I think we can go with paradise. Mostly so that people don't have to listen to me continue to heap praise on sumo. Speaking of sumo, let's uh, let's just grab some let's just grab some good pilots here. So showboat can come along and blockade can come along and da 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 da, -da mockingbird can come along. Sensor lock can't hurt, right? Certain, ooh, ooh. So there's a question. Am I allowed to let her use sensor lock? I don't think I can. I think this is this is just one man standing here against the world. So let's just grab somebody else. There we go. Now as for an opponent, we're gonna start off in the uh, 15 million C bill budget. Let's see what kind of combatants we can come across. You know, Centurions, Panther, Commando, sure, okay. Uh, Hunchback, eh, that's a little that's a little lighter than I would like. Um, Locusts, sure, whatever. Yeah, I think we're gonna go I think we'll go with this light battle lance. Yeah, let's go with that. Paracenturians, those are good to fight. They blow up real good as previously uh, recorded. As for map, today we are going to go to Death Valley in the foggy night. And let's see if our friend Paradise in the Punch King 2 Atlas variant can get the job done by himself. So as it should be pretty obvious, I like tinkering with mech designs. I like making custom designs. I like making sure they're legal. Which this is legal, and if you wish, uh, there's a link in the video video description uh, for a record sheet for the tabletop version of the Punch King 2 with its 11 small lasers and 140 damage melee. So 220 plus 140 is 360 damage if all of this connects. Whoo boy. Also, just for all of you out there that have never seen an assault mech fly, let's just give these jets a test. That's some good jumping. All right, now, time to send out the, uh, the posse. Yep. And let's get this fight started. Uh, yep. Punch Club awaits for no man or woman, nor mech. Oh, I love the little headlights, the little spotlights. That's so good. I haven't said it yet today, but, ah, oh, this game is so good. No, I've said it before. I'm just going to keep saying it. As we wait for our unwitting targets. Go. Alright, so let's get into maybe slightly faster movement here. And honestly. Waiting on you, Commander. Holding and cooling. <laughs> let's, let's not break up the party too much here. We don't want the posse to get too far ahead of, of our uh, man of the hour here. Being that he has to take two moves for every one of theirs just to keep up. Waiting for orders. All right, so. Ooh, 
Hey, roads. We love roads. Why do we love roads? Because roads let us move a whole bunch more than usual. Look at this guy. Look at him. Put the pedal to the metal. Chugging along. Still haven't gotten any contacts, though. That's interesting. What can I do for you? On my way. How would it feel if you were in one of these locusts in an actual kind of somewhat, not a silly setup like this, but like a live combat situation? It's like, okay, you three locusts are going to be the screening force for this atlas. Go, go, go. Go, go be the, go be the screen. If I were one of those locust pilots, I'd probably turn to the commander and go, "What are you smoking?" Look alive. We've got company. All right, here we go. We have contacts, which means I hear it's time for our, our, all of our little friends. No sweat. To kind of just skedaddle. Gonna be a lot of action up here in phase four and phase f phase three, as seven eighths of the units on the field engage aye, aye. at those particular initiative phases, while our Big Mac Daddy continues to move forward. Really should probably be sprinting order, with these locusts. There's no reason. I mean, it's a little horse apiece whether you move then guard versus sprint. Although, as we've shown time and again, evasion's real, real dumb. Um, how about we go over this way? Turn around. Quick stepping. So we've lined up. We've lined up the sides. Incoming bandit. We've set up our corridor. Our first challenger is is in front of us. Taking some unnecessary fire there. Reporting serious armor loss. Eh, you're fine. Just gonna have to get you out of the way if you survive this round of Centurion's fire. Ooh, that's gonna go torso side. Yep. All right, sorry, Ozone. Didn't mean to leave you hanging out there. Reporting. All right. Oh, not quite enough to get into punching range just this moment. But I think it's only fair yes, since Commander. their Centurions fired on my Locust that I returned the favor. Paradise showing that guns even in their optimal range. Maybe maybe should have opted for sumo. It's fine. These are all gonna get dodged anyway. Oh, landed one. Oh, landed two. Hey, that's cool. Alright. Let's get Ozone out of there. Oh, and he can't sprint because he's unsteady. Move order received. So let's just move him and brace him so that he can clear that. So the commando is going to get behind me. Not really surprised at anything there. Got a dodge out of it. But that rear torso is open up, so we're gonna have to be a little careful about that. Good to go. What do you need? Well, I'm part of the screening force for a reason. Get moving, showboat. I thought she sprinted. Well, oh, crud. Alright, well. Sprint. To there. Turn the corner. Understood. Moving fast. 
<laughs> All right, so centurions are going to go next. Probably they round the corner and they fire on my atlas if they are smart. And when they're not smart, they fire on my locusts. Uh, I'm bleeding, Commander. Ah, keep it together, showboat. You're fine. Goes another torso. Not getting the lucky dodge on the auto cannon fire. That's gonna become problematic. I wonder if Paradise. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna be able to move up fast enough to get to them. Uh, however, this guy is in for a real bad time. Just out of curiosity. So he has 80 health in the CT alone. This is going to be a left side attack. One way or another. Odds on this commando just exploding? Well, that's a great start. Not quite. Certainly a good start to... Uh, work that commando. Invasion doing its job while our big ham-fisted friend works it down here. Good to go. On the sprint. Let's see if we can draw some fire here. Pointing. That should have been forced. Should get cover when she gets there. cover and the sprint we like that commandos like I did not sign up for this garbage really little man really that's how you want to that's how you want to go out standing by Let's see how bad I can uh, get them confused. I bet if I come over here that they're just going to completely ignore blockade. Confirm. So, let's give them something really, really hard to think about. Double time. Let's what, do you, go. what do you do about that guy that just ran behind you? so we can continue to give our Atlas a little bit of breathing room to finish the job on that commando. Alright, so now, ladies and gentlemen, Locust Team, I need you to be dodging like your lives depend on it because, frankly, they do. That's good dodge. We like that. That's good. We like the miss. We're okay with that. He's going in for a punch. Oh, from behind, this could go bad. Getting the miss... Small laser? Uh, must not have a small laser on that one. Alright, so. Punch King over here gets to finish the job on this commando. Uh, checking our heat, it's actually probably worth looking. We're okay for now. Oh! See, this is what happens when you don't just fall over from the first attack. You give me a second chance, and then I obliterate your cockpit. He's going to back up to face... Oh, precision strike. And miss. Look at that. Ozone. Doing the good work of not getting shot this turn. Time to pull him out as the posse does its job keeping the enemy mediums and panther tied up Commander? hey turkeys down over here Let's see he, he has line of sight to them for the most part I don't know I'm just gonna go over here I wanna bait them down let's see if they'll Moving fast. they'll bite coming down this way Here. 
and we're just gonna we're just gonna take a scenic scenic tour, you know, no big deal. Haven't really gotten a look at a good look at this side of the map, so you know, kind of wish it were daytime right now. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? All right, so that's all the lights. Centurion, Centurion, uh, have a real problem with my locust posse here. Ooh, ooh, that's good dodge. We like that. Good dodging. We like that. Well inside the LRM range. Oh, look at that. Right up into the crease there. Another good dodge. Ooh, here come the missiles, though. And medium laser and a couple missiles sneak through. All right, Paradise. Get your hustle on. It's interesting that. Hmm. I understand. Here comes the heavy. Here comes the weight. There we go. Paradise moves to position. Back to the top of the order. So what's this Panther gonna do? Is he gonna? Oh. Showboat loses a leg. That's unfortunate. She's probably going to have to pull back a little bit now. Uh, uh, I'm gonna need a medic. Without a good way to create evasion. We're going to have to just pull her back so we don't lose her. Back up and ready for more. Just in case the posse needs to come in. Because, you know, you know, like any good street fight, oh, no. if your main My man, perhaps... Laughing is KO'd. I mean, the posse will show up. This posse will. I don't know about all posses, but this one definitely will. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Uh, let's see. We're going to get back to sprinting, and we're going to break for cover here. We're going to try and make sure that this atlas is now the only thing the enemy team cares about. Interesting little move there. Oop. And uh, hop down at the end. Yep. Ozone. You're doing a good job. Keep to the trees. Stay on the sprint. He is totally going to go after Ozone. What is the... What is the AI's... Oh. Never mind. Oh, showboat. That's unfortunate. I think he'd be able to take the corner there quite so tight. Get a line of sight there. Meanwhile, I'm being flanked. AI continues to focus on my locusts for no real good apparent reason. Just keeps giving Paradise a chance to do some damage. All right, so we get a sprint. Where are we sprinting to? Kind of want him to be front and center and within a move next turn to punch something. So I think we go here and let's just tip it this way ever so slightly. Get your hustle on. Follow that beautiful road. And we are officially in the thick of it. All right, so showboat's in a showboat's in a bit of a kettle. Moving to position. Possibly containing fish. As she clambers her way through the rocks with one broken leg. Have her hunker down there so that she's just nice and out of sight. Yep. Where are you, Block? There you are. Let's get all the way behind him. Is there a good place to get all the way behind him? Not really. This one... Copy Centurion that. may decide that it wants to go light hunting for some inexplicable reason. These two guys should now pretty firmly focus their attention on my atlas. Order. Meanwhile, skulking about in the tree line. Oh, 
that's not what we want. Yeah, for some inexplicable reason. Oh, no, yeah, there we go. Turns the corner, gets the miss. Ooh, a little bit of laser action. It's all right. Although the building took, took a bit of a hit there. That's right, bring on a new challenger. That's right. You know what's up. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Ooh, 85s is so good. 90s is good. I almost want to save the inspiration. You know what, let's save the inspiration. Because those numbers are absolutely bonkers good. Let's go kind of the front right of the panther. Let's just continue to knock out targets. Punch King! Ho! One shot. There goes half the mech. In comes the laser fire light show. A little spread around. A little spread around. Just saying, Paradise. Focus that stuff down, my friend. Say it, don't spray it. Uh, showboat, we're just gonna have you hang out here for now. Affirmative. You're a little, you're a little too beat up to, uh... Yeah. Wanna be my... Posse that drags things out of position. It's going full throttle. Get up and over the hill. Okay. And we're gonna make... We're going to see if Ozone can continue to tie up this uh, Centurion here. He just needs to be close, right? Just needs to be obvious. I mean, if I had an enemy Locust in my rear arc like that, I would certainly want to turn and face it. Good dodge. We like that. Dodging some more. Get some cover on that second medium laser. Ozone doing a fine job. So the Centurion's probably going to get behind me. Uh, no. It's going to... Not only does he not get behind me, he gets on my left side and chooses not to fire at the humongous 100-ton threat. Sigh. All right, so let's, uh, let's finish some work here. Paradise, you have a job left unfinished. Let's go there. And oh, you didn't move. Oh, I hate that. But wow, take off the other half. And here comes the laser show. That would be a kill. I don't know, Paradise. Is it? Is it? All right. So. Get Ozone over here. Everybody's going to get a move, so we'll just continue to tie this guy up. Dancing around him. Although Ozone's mech is looking a little, a little beat up. Uh, blockade, I will need you to move over next. Commander? If you would be so kind as to provide some additional targets. While the Atlas does his grizzly work back on that other Centurion. Also, somehow this is a forested space. You could claim cover by this bush, right? Waiting for orders. Uh, showboat, continue to hang tight, please. Got it. Yep, this guy has just got a. He's got a thing for my... Oh, yeah, auto cannons. Sorry, Ozone. You did a good job. You did a good job, friend. Ooh, that's not good. Taking that to the rear. That hit the left torso, which is where it's open. Alright, Paradise. I need you to... As they say on the continent. Plow this guy. 
Also, it'd be nice if you actually moved to this position that I'm telling you to move to. Nope, of course he doesn't, because that's infuriatingly broken. Oh, great start, though. Two smalls to the center, and this guy bites it. And there we go. My friends, we call that a one-shot. All right, so... Not that I felt like there was any particular, you know, likelihood I would not win this fight. Because, let's face it, a 100 ton charging atlas that's laden with a bunch of lasers is a really terrifying thing. But at this point, it is just clean up. Mama said knock you out, and knock you out is what we are doing. Blockade, if you could be so kind as to drag this guy back towards our Atlas and make his job of moving up a little bit easier, please. I appreciate if you would not get destroyed in the process. Let's see what the uh, Centurion chooses to do here. Moving up, and... Ooh, there goes another leg. Locusts not exactly known for their ability to tank damage. Oh, so close. God, I wish you could charge off a sprint. Hey, chuckle nuts. You are focusing on the wrong target. See this guy over here? Bring the pain. Right. Commander? Showboat, if you would please. Get to some cover. Right, Commander. While we continue to draw fire from the Centurion. Posse doing good job. Tying up these centurions I'm here. inexplicably to a certain extent. Alright. I still don't understand why these things have legs. Alright, blockade, you can you can you can get a timeout. You've done good work, my friend. My mech is limping. You're alright. beautiful wall there. Alright. This is your last chance, Centurion. Oh, and he chooses to engage in the honorable c art of physical combat. I will see your yes, choice to engage and raise you right. an inspiration. My friend, my friend, you did not know what you just got yourself into. Oh, straight to the CT. We like that start. Here we go. And that, my friends, is the one, two on two centurions. The Punch King, Mark II, does his grisly work. There we go. That's what we like to see. We like to see a an overwhelming show of force to show the bad guys what's what. 13 rounds, 25 minutes, and managed to get, well, okay. Ozone's, at, Ozone's Locust didn't exactly survive. I'm, I'm willing to cop to that. But, you know, we got the other two of the posse through. We may have to upgrade them to something slightly more sturdy next time. Perhaps Urban Mechs. Perhaps Jenners. But our man, the Punch King himself, comes through pretty spectacularly, scoring two two shots on the light mechs, curiously, and then two one shots on the centurions, coming out pretty clean. Got a bit of armor and internal structure to repair, but other than that. Meanwhile, the other guys got it real bad. You're dead. You got kerblued. 
We actually stripped your mech off one half than the other. I'm amazed there's anything left on it. And these two guys just got marked. Man. Punch to the CT to open that stuff up for a flurry of small lasers where you only need two of them to land CT to kill it. That is some, that is some, mm, mwah, that is some good stuff. And that'll be all for today's Battle Tech in the Morning. I am the punch coach, Captain Nips. Wishing you a good day, and I will see all of you in tomorrow's video.